Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to edit the announcements bar in Shopify in 2023. So today we're focusing on a feature that can help you communicate important messages to your customers, to announcements, or of course, which is the announcements bar. So if you're ready to make announcements sends out and enhance the user experience, stick around. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to edit the announcements bar on your Shopify store. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and here make sure to type shopify.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Shopify.com. If you don't know nothing about this app, make sure to scroll down to familiarize yourself or just have a general idea about this website. Here you'll find some information about it, what people saying about it, frequently asked questions, some videos explaining the website, and etc. And of course, if you have an account, basically just go to the top right corner, click on login to log, uh, login into your account. And if you don't, you'll have to click on start free trial to create a new account and start your trial. Of course, this start free trial will give you three days on every store that you create for uh, three days for free to try everything out. Of course, you will not be able to publish your store, but you will be able to try everything out. You can create unlimited stores, but the stores will turn inactive after three days. Of course, uh, unless you go and get one of their plans, you can see three plans in here, monthly and yearly with the features, with everything. Post the video, check it all by your own if you want to. For me, I'll just go here and click on login because this will log me right into my store because that's the store I was uh, logging into recently. Of course, uh, you can change it whenever you want and you don't have to keep logging in manually uh, over and over. As you can see, I've, I've just clicked on login and they'll log me right into my store because I've just logged in uh, recently. So here, once we access, of course, our Shopify uh, dashboard, because we would like uh, to begin, of course, with accessing that, you will have to go to themes or you go to the slash panel and click on online stores in here and you will find yourself on the themes page uh, right away. Of course, make sure to go to the themes library and click on add theme. As an example, first of all, to choose the theme that you want. So click on visit themes uh, of Shopify uh, themes, Shopify store and look for the theme that you want. So just look. Uh, of course, there are some free ones. There are some paid ones. Of course, the paid ones, as you can see, has more uh, options, has a lot of uh, things that you can choose from. Or you can just choose the free, choose whatever you want, select it, buy it if it's uh, paid. And then you will find it here on your theme library. Simply in here, you'll be able to publish it. If you click on publish, it will be switched with this uh, default one that you have. And of course, you'll be able to customize your theme however you want. So for us, we'll have to customize the theme so we can, of course, uh, edit the announcements bar in Shopify. So first of all, uh, within, of course, once you click on customize here on this list panel, within the sections option, you will find the header option. And look for settings related to the announcements bar depending on your theme and this may be labeled as header as you can see and my dow my down uh, like theme it's the header and here of course if you have other theme it's may be labeled as something else as announcements bar or something similar but you'll basically find this right here as example which is announcements bar if you don't know what's named that you can simply go here to announcements bar and simply one click, one left click on that, and you will find the announcements bar right here. Now you'll be able to edit everything that you want about this announcements bar. You'll be able to change the scheme of it. For example, of course, this is like they give you five schemes. You can edit that by your own, like more if you want to change the text color, if you want to change like the solid button background color, the background color, the solid and etc. So you can change everything in here: solid button uh, label, outline button, uh, shadow, and etc. So you can do a blue shadow maybe. Why not with uh, some gray background? color okay let's just make some black a bit and as you can see you can simply now hit the save of course so you can always see it whenever you want let's just go here you can of course show it in a separator line if you want to so that's all new depending on whatever you want and as you can see here we have social media icons so to display your social media icons 
or account, link them to your theme settings. You can show the icons on desktop also, or you don't, depending on whatever you want. So if you click here on theme settings, you'll be able to add some uh, social media, as you can see in here. So just link your uh, social media, like HTTPS, uh, two dot, two slashes, as an example, Instagram. So I'll just go here and Instagram.com slash, and here you'll have to add your username. As an example, for me, I'll just add Mr. Test or something like that. And yeah, of course you can add, as you can see, your Facebook, Instagram. So this is for Facebook. Let's just change it to Facebook instead. So Facebook. Of course, you can add for Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, and a lot of other stuff. If you didn't find what you want in here, you can add this my apps. You can go and check other videos that I made about that if you want to. So let's just go back in here, click on that again. And you can show the icons on desktop, as I've said before, or you don't. You can auto-rotate the announcements. And you can make a change every 10 seconds, every 3 seconds, every whatever you want. And of course, the country and region uh, selector. So to add the country and region, you can go to market settings and change that. You can enable that if you want to. Well, not even enable it. And here we have the language selector. So to add the language, go to the language settings and you can enable the language selector. Of course, all of that will be in announcements bar. So you can do that or not. And you, here you have the theme settings. So you'll find uh, the theme settings that we added. So uh, which is the social media. And here we have the custom CSS. You can add, of course, or change. As you can see, add custom tiles to uh, styles to this section only. To add custom styles to your entire store, uh, uh, online store, go to the theme settings. Of course, if you don't know like how to uh, change this coding as an example on how to do or how to do this coding, you can simply use like a tool like ChatGPT to write that CSS custom CSS code for you. If you want, I don't know, to do something uh, better for you, just use ChatGPT. It will do everything for you. Just ask her. Can you create custom CSS code that shows an example, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera, and they will write a code for you. You can simply paste this in here, see how it's look on the announcements bar, and you'll be good to go. Once you finish everything, just go and click on save, and then click on exit, then click on view your store, and you'll be able to see your announcements bar. And yeah, I guess that's it. So you've already finished. Once you customize it, you can add links, you can adjust the appearance, you can finish everything and once you save click on view online store and you'll be able to see it's right here all the changes that you made so there you have it you've successfully learned how to edit the announcements bar on your shopify store so thank you for joining me today and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one so thanks for watching again and i will see you in the next video